So uh, Mark came in with a, a very severe traumatic brain injury, uh, what we call a Glasgow coma scale of four, somewhere around four to six uh, when he came in. Um, and uh, there was you know, limited expectation that he would recover fully. Um, most people who come in with that level of impairment um, either die or have devastating uh, long-term outcome. Uh, and Mark was one of our, our sort of hero stories. Um, he was in the first trial, the, the, um, the safety trial in 2001. And, um, you know, it's, it's a, quite a remarkable story. His parents uh, came basically to the ER to say goodbye. Uh, and, uh, and, and Mark was enrolled in the trial. Uh, at the time, we didn't know which, which study drug, whether he got the study drug or placebo, because it was a blinded trial. Um, but uh, at the end of the trial, um, um, we were able to unbreak the blinding and, and realize that uh, this gentleman um, was in the treatment group. And why that's remarkable is because he had an unbelievable recovery. Um, Mark basically is back to his normal uh, self. Uh, he's a, a essentially kind of a weightlifter, athletic individual, um, and um, we're, we're very proud of him and very happy that he's done so well. Now, we can't for sure say that progesterone was the reason why he recovered so well, but it certainly gives us hope. Um, traumatic brain injury is tricky. Uh, it, there are a number of severe people, or, or, or rather patients who come in who are severely injured, who actually do do quite well. And the reason behind that is not really well known. There's individual genetic characteristics and the type of injury they had and things like that that play a role. But um, the fact that he was so severely injured and did well and was in the treatment group um, gives us a lot of hope. Well, we're studying uh, progesterone for the use of severe uh, and moderate TBI, um, and which we think is very important because it will help show functional improvement uh, as opposed to just improving death. Um, there's no reason to think that it wouldn't work for mild, but we haven't studied uh, in that. 